happy gone. What's poppin'? What's going on in life of a Capricorn for the month of June 2019? <laughs> Are you guys in this space of feeling a bit anxious because you really don't know what's coming, but you feel something huge and very magical getting ready to occur? <laughs> Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, look out, I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot, just depending on what the hell you call it, say. But I'm a cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can best assist you without cussing, because me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? To the returning subscribers, hey, boo, hey. Hey, family, wish poppy. How y'all been? How y'all doing? <laughs> to the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight for us. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, okay? We grow. We love. We laugh. We share. We cry sometimes, you know? But we want a big happy family here. Positive vibes only, okay? You guys, this is not going to resonate with everybody. It's simply a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found down there in the description. <laughs> Also, um, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribe, the comments. I truly appreciate it, you guys. If you just wonder what the hell I did, my eyelash got stuck. It's been throwing up gang signs. I don't know what it's about. I sleep bad. Let's not talk about it, but let's get it. Okay? <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with your intuitive messages. This is for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watches. Because I'm a part time Cross Watcher. For the Sun, Capricorn. Let's get it. Capricorn, what you guys got is divine union, sacred space, trust issues, what's done in the dark, esoteric insight, telepathy, spiritual gifts, expansion, awakenings, children, hidden alliance, angelic interference. Miraculous health, stubborn, new home, shifts, adapt, property matters, shadow self, reconsider, I'm sorry, reconsider, ooh, y'all, I went to public school, I was playing, reconsideration, sex magic, manipulation, astral travel, lottery, <laughs> Let me hold the dollar. Unexpected income. Spiritual protection. Ancestral ties. Okay? Ooh, y'all. Blessings on blessings on blessings. What the, look, why in the fuck is you stressing? Get your ass up out your head and get, get on your cap it. Get on your feet and dance. Do a little dance. Do a little dance. Because if you thought that you had any reason to fret, I think not. Because a lot of you all are walking smooth into your destiny during this time. And for some of you all, it has to do with wealth. Saturn out here passing our blessings. Okay. For some of you all, um, in the month of June. Oh, you guys, the overall energy around the reading. Look at me. I'm excited. Y'all, y'all really made me excited because my daddy's a Capricorn. And right before I got ready to record this, I had actually did the intuitive messages. I had laid out uh, the spiritual messages. And then my daddy gets a phone call and their lottery actually manifested today. So, y'all, when I say I'm already excited, just one doing the dance. And that's really why I'll be watching Capricorn. I'll be cross watching. I'm a daddy's girl. I'll be all in his bed. What's going on in your bed? Because I got to know. Because he don't be talking, you know. And, it, yeah, I got to know. He, he know how to put the wall up. He got Libra rising like me. So he know how to, you know. So because of that, <laughs> I be having to be nosy. I love you. I really do. You guys, nine of guys. So it's lets me know. A lot of you all are in this period of, I feel that this has to do with anxiety regarding movement, whether it's movement forward, okay, movement away, okay, but there is some type of anxiety on how to communicate, okay, this could be you or the uh, energy that's cross-watching or anything in your external, okay, so for you guys, a lot of you guys, maybe in this, in the month of June, some of y'all may be receiving some type of um, 
communicating possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a mother figure. This could be your child's mother. This could be a daughter. But there is some type of communication that is coming, okay? This could be uh, regarding, y'all, this could be from your father, regarding your father. There could have been some internal conflicts, okay, about a relationship or some of you guys, it could also be an issue around forgiveness. Like someone was holding on to something or someone is feeling guilty. For some of you all, this has to do, um, some of y'all are going to be getting some type of information regarding a will and inheritance I'm seeing here. And this is this one. This could have been, um, this, and, and some of y'all going to find out the real reason why your damn auntie, I'm seeing a, a man, but for some of y'all, this could have been a, a woman figure. Okay, this could be, this person could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or they could be a fire sign. But for some of y'all, you're going to find out the real reason why a motherfucker just flipped and started acting damn crazy and cut you off because they had, they own the dirty little secrets. Okay, so there, there are things, there is an energy of things coming to the surface, things coming to light, especially around family matters. Okay. Um, for some of you all, this is about your life path moving towards your destiny. Some of you guys are environmentalists. Some of you guys are also um, in the space of gardening. For some of you all, this is about your creativity, your path as an innovator. Some of you guys may be very uncomfortable at work. And because you have manifested all this damn anxiety, but being but it being around in a selfless intention, okay? For some of you all, it's about stability, being able to provide stability. For some of you all, you may be going through things with your health. Okay, I do see a miraculous turnaround for someone um, when it comes to their health. For some of you all, this had to do with you being caught up. Like it, it, It's like a karmic path currently that's connected to a past life. Okay, and this is actually regarding like sitting in internal conflict and like missing opportunities. For some of you all, it has to be has to do with being a slave to your loyalty. And sitting in unhappiness. Some of you all, um, you could have been getting ready to separate from someone, or you have, you know, that you have a distant path. This could be you or this air sign. They just stay strongly telling me to focus on this air sign. Some of y'all could be dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius that is very influential. This person could be your mother, okay? But there is some type of truth coming out about a, a, regarding a family situation, okay? And I feel like it's destined. All right. For some of you all, this actually has to do with someone communicating that they move and it's going to start a damn up for it. All hell going to break loose. OK, for some of you all, I feel that. Some of y'all, someone in your energy is battling with. Some of y'all could also find out that someone like inherited some type of mental issues from their father, from a father figure like it's ancestral. OK. And for some of you all, some of y'all are getting ready to go through a divorce and somebody don't want the divorce, but the other person is hell bent on it because they already put up somewhere else. You're going to find that out this month. This month. Others of you, this internal conflict, a lot of y'all going to learn the substance of turning your pain into power during this time. Some of you all are writers. Some of you all are artists. Some of you all... Some, I'm getting a strong artist energy. Some of you all paint. Some of you all are herbalists. Some of you all are, you have great destined paths. Some of y'all path requires you guys to travel, but you feel stuck or trapped in a dynamic where you feel as if you are obligated to give to something based on your own traditional views of things. And for some of y'all, the only attachment that you have is kids, and some of y'all got a rude awakening around children during this time I heard paternity, okay? And this could come in the form of someone getting sick. If this truth comes about, maybe one of your kids try to be helpful, help you. A lot of you guys, there's an expansion around the third eye. Some of you all, you are getting dreams and synchronicities. If you keep seeing a particular number, please research that number. And if that number keeps coming up around, note what you're doing. Some of y'all are dreamers, okay? And some of y'all are having ancestral visits. This is a mother figure, okay? For some of y'all, it's a father figure. Someone is coming to give you some type of truth. or the, I'm hearing delivery of truth. And I heard at your front door. So somebody could literally just be popping, about, popping back up in your life. This could be someone who you're very passionate about. Some of you guys are internally conflict about telling someone that, um, or this could be your partner, Capricorn. Somebody could have made an outside child. And usually I would get this in a love reading, but I feel like this has been something that someone has been holding for quite some time. 
Um, but someone could have made an outside child. Your this child could be either um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This child could also be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, this child could also be an herb sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But there's a need of um, someone's getting ready to communicate some truth, and they're internally conflicted about it. Even though this truth is like this truth frees you both. But it puts someone else in an internal and mental prison because of what has been invested. Some of you all, some of you guys are kind of in this space where you're kind of going back over your past. How things, different cycles, I call it the cycles of love. But a lot of you all are embarking on a love that is very abundant. But I feel like either you or another person is fighting it. This could be a fire sign, every field, sad water sign. This could definitely be someone from your past or someone who made you or you made this person look in the mirror over the past. Someone surfaced or triggered another having past emotions. Someone is reflecting over the past and, and choosing a route of integrity. But their integrity is still some bullshit. It's still snake moves around the integrity, I feel. Again, someone could already plan. They did, I'm not already planning this. And someone wants to save the situation because of how it's perceived on the outside, the integrity around it, what's right to death do its part, for better or for worse. Some of you all, you need not stop telling people. Do not, during this time, don't tell nobody about what moves that you're making. Some of y'all have people that are trying to be hella attached to your energy. For some of y'all, this has to do with how you make your money. Some of you all are embarking on different in different areas when it comes to entrepreneurship during this time. And for those of you who are waiting on any type of business loan, any type of loans, or hearing positive news around inheritances, loans, uh, for some of you all, this could also have uh, to do with assets or lotteries. Some type of unexpected income is destined for you, baby. There is a... I'm hearing turn of events. So if you've been in this space where you feel as if you've been able to manage things, but you feel as if someone or something wasn't able to, like you weren't able to mend fences when it came to a vibe, I definitely see that what's for you will definitely be for you. And things that have been hidden, it is destined for truth to be illuminated on those things, which is going to bring some type of release or moving away. But in that moving away, and for some of y'all, this could also have to do with the father figure. If someone has not been fair in the past or someone wasn't morally correct, I definitely see it has to do with the ancestral cycle that someone has um, a, like a soul path or a soul contract to rectify. So there's a need for you to be receptive because whatever is going on here around a father figure, or even if this is children outside, it's destined because you have somewhere to be. Okay. Some of y'all have to do definitely with love around matters of the heart. And again, as above, so below. So there's some type of alignment that is occurring with some of y'all are spiritually like you're divinely married to a person. Some of you all are getting intuitive hits on it. But some of y'all is definitely fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. And some of y'all is definitely water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you may be stuck dealing with an air sign or you feel as if you're stuck dealing with a toxic fire sign there's a need for you all to understand that you you got the keys baby you hold the keys understand that every with every move that you make with every thought that you give power to okay understand that you are creating something you are creating an abundant path you hold the keys to your path of abundance but some of y'all with these webs in the past Cut the motherfucking wells from around your keys, man. Because the keys, the keys are released when you choose to see. And you choose to speak what it is that you see. Because there's definitely abundance and true loyalty that lies within your heart towards a situation or circumstance. And this is something that is surrounding a situation with loyalty that maybe one wasn't seeing or one maybe did not want to see. But these are the keys to your sales of abundance. Ironically, I said that 
and the clock hit 1444. My dad, that lottery, a lot of y'all may be seeing 444. He won on fours. It was, you know, small lottery, but still, the fact that they were triple just as that, 444. Know that your guides, your ancestors, you are hella protected during this time. I feel so chill and relaxed doing y'all reading because I'm knowing that you are spiritually protected. I'm an oversoul. So a lot of y'all guides and, your, and, and, and the archangels that you connect to, we here. Some of y'all who are mediums, sometimes you may even see your people. It's like, I know. Y'all be like, I wonder if you know this. Mocha, do you know it? Yeah, I do. Just know. Um, a lot of y'all have a hell of an ancestral push that is pushing you towards the path of abundance. Some of y'all could also be dealing with someone or some of you guys could be destined to be um, wealthy. Some of y'all famous off of your creativity, but you got to stop holding on to shit that does not assist you in your path of growth and your path of ev evolution, evolving, ascending. Some of y'all are out vibing people. It's a vibe. <laughs> and somebody just can't ride the wave anymore. You heard me? It's my little ghetto girl itch. Kept going, I'm going to get the bill. Let it go. Okay? But either you guys are going to let it go. But as above, so below. This has to do with a soul contract. There are cycles coming back around. For them to even, these could be missed opportunities. Okay, or huge lessons. And the lesson has to lie in the fact that you held the keys. So if you chose to go back around that wheel, don't complain about the shit. Because God is literally giving y'all a chance to be happy. You hold the keys. A lot of y'all may be seeing frogs during this time. That's what the hell they need. Some of y'all, you may be seeing white birds. Others of you may be seeing butterflies, many of them. Some of you all may have some type of turtle encounter. All of these animals signify newness, abundance, growth, great health, prosperity. Look them up. I'll take my damn word for it. Google is my best friend. Shit, I be looking shit up. <laughs> y'all told me shit in the comments. I have to go run it. Come back since you're right. <laughs> Google told me. <laughs> Googling that ad that I clicked on or whatever, the, the, the article I clicked on to go to it. But <laughs> they was in the same ballpark. Knocking it out the park. Giving old Mocha Mo a damn different understanding. Little towel moment. Different perspective. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Capricorn? They said three more times. All right. Beautiful Capricorn. So Venus as well as the cross watchers and love for the month of June 2019. So yeah, some of you guys, this could definitely be involving either, um, some of y'all could be dealing with a past situation, a past person. This could definitely be someone who either you may feel Rejected or someone who made you feel rejected. This person could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, I definitely feel like either you or this other person has been trying to manifest the situation. Some of y'all could have been dealing with someone. Some of y'all actually could have. Some of y'all could have someone coming back from the past who has a damn drinking problem. I feel like this person, what you don't know is this person or some type of addiction, okay? What you don't know is, is that this person has moved away from that and they have been victorious in doing so. So this person could have been through some type of rehab, okay? Y'all are definitely dealing with either water or fire. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like in the past there could have been a situation where someone could have made someone else feel less, uh, made someone else feel less than. I definitely feel like someone wants to bring harmony to a situation, either you or another person. And this could have been something that you've been trying to manifest or another person has been trying to manifest for quite some time. But the fact that I have three sixes on the board, I have the three, the, listen, <clears throat> y'all know when a woman say, listen, <laughs> she mean what, she, what the fuck she's going to say. I have the six of cups indicating this could have to do with past life or a past person. Okay. Definitely have to do with emotion, something emotional. 
emotion felt from the past. Others of you, this could also be a Capricorn towards Virgo, but or a situation where you see that there can be reciprocity, there is harmony, there is balance. Like this person is your harmony. We have the Six of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. There will be victory and success and a harmonious circumstance, outcome with this situation, okay? Matters not the signs, y'all. We got to stop focusing on the damn signs because it be throwing me off sometimes. But, you know, if I see it, I'm going to say it. Some of you guys just could involve a Sagittarius. I definitely feel like someone could have been not really communicating in the past, but now someone wants to bring an equal give and take, harmony, harmony compromise to a situation where in the past there could have been an energy I'm hearing tit for tat. They could have been preventing things from moving forward. Yeah. For some of you all, you could be offering. Yeah. You could be walking away from the fears of what could happen based on what happened in the past. Okay. And some of y'all could be walking away from someone from your past because you feel as if they're offering or they're moving a bit slow when it comes to working on some type of partnership or you feel as if you weren't. Some of y'all, some of you guys could have had a rebound situation or could have be a negative decision to have to move away from a rebound situation. Because I definitely, I'm calling it a rebound situation because some of you all, that's the truth be told. Either you or another person, and I feel like this is a mutual energy, you guys were waiting for each other. You could not be communicating with this person or could have went through a period of not, no communication. I definitely feel like for some of y'all, there's definitely an offer coming, but someone is really not expressing their emotions and expressing their full intentions, which is kind of throwing another person off because they only have to go based on what has been invested during this time, okay? For some of you all, you may, for those of you who are waiting to hear back from a job after possibly having to move away from a work situation, something that you're very passionate about, some of y'all may be feeling a bit, and your patience may be tested, <laughs> Because you're not hearing from it. You're hearing from that job right now. But in the month of June, I am here in the third week. Even though I will be made another video by then. But in this third week, I do see you guys actually moving towards another job. To gain that balance. Again, that's at night with that three. That four. And four. Some of y'all may be seeing four, 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 fours. Or about stability. They just jumped off the damn tail. Yeah. For others of you, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Taurus. Some of y'all could have moved away from a Taurus or moved away from a, some of y'all could have moved away from a marriage or could be moving away from a marriage due to deceptive behavior, possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fire sign, Aries, Seal, Sag. Someone could have been in a commitment already and someone could be finding out about a third party situation or someone communicating with someone from their past, even thinking about taking a damn offer from this person. I'm just like, oh, hell no. But some of y'all, this definitely could have to do with court documents. Some of you guys, there's a justice card coming right. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Libra. Y'all intuition is on fire during this time. Some of you guys, some of y'all could be keeping to yourself that you want to go into some type of commitment. You want to move forward. You're holding your feelings to yourself. But some of you guys want to move forward very quickly and offer um, someone a commitment. I feel that you're moving very slow in doing so, either you or another person, especially if you're dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Others of you are going to find out about um, someone keeping secrets, especially if you're in some type of uh, long-term relationship or some type of commitment. Someone, if you're going through a divorce with someone, especially if this person is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, or a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of y'all, this person may be telling you that they no longer want to proceed as far as the, they, they no longer want to proceed as far as getting that divorce. And it's because this person has intuitively, and you may pay attention to this person during this time because I definitely feel like there is, pay attention to their emotions around your abundance. If you're dealing with a water sign or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all could be keeping your emotions. Some of you guys are wanting to move towards a reunion with the with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong emphasis on cancer. 
and uh, Scorpio. But I feel like you could even be married or committed to a fire sign or an air sign, even though there is a lot of passion and a lot of love in this young one. And some of you all may also be finding out that if you're dealing with the sign of cancer, that this person could be trying to sneak off and build a commitment, commitment elsewhere with a fire sign or another air sign. Some of you guys have a decision to make between two people or an air sign has a decision to make between. Some of y'all, here go that damn paternity again. Let me tell you something. I don't read the books, boo. Okay? My intuition and my guys don't work like that. I'm clear all this. So a lot of times we all be like, Mocha, why we don't see the cards? Because I don't want nobody coming up with my shit telling me how to read shit because I don't play that shit. Period. So, you know, people do what you allow them to do. So to prevent things, I just keep my little area in my little area and just, you know, give you the messages. So that way we don't even have any problems. But if for those intuitive and inquisitive minds that wanted to know, okay? <laughs> Some of you all, this, I'm hearing this could also be happening externally. Someone could be connected to a child. Someone could have told you and another person or this person. There's definitely issues around fraternity with a child. For some of you, it's between it's the, the, this could be an air sign needed to choose or make a decision about a child. Okay, this child, um, and there could be, this truth could be coming out regarding some type of court documents, legalities that's coming forth or either, I heard at your doorstep, somebody could be knocking on your damn door and throwing somebody under the bus. I know, so bizarre, but y'all heard some of the most, this damn uh, new moon in Gemini, I was finna shake some shit up in the midst of a Pluto retrograde. Go look at the combustion of them, in, of them energies. Okay? Call me at her finest. What's done in the dark shall come to the light. For others of you, uh, for yeah, but I definitely see someone could have needed to, um, there's a there's a decision that needs to be made for some of you all you haven't someone could not be making this decision not be making this decision due to children but someone especially if there's a leo involved some of y'all can actually be questioning some type of fraternity around a leo and an air sign some of you all are being courageous or trying to some of y'all, some of you dealing with the sign of Leo, this person is not going to let you. Some of y'all could be having a Leo that's going to, either you going to leave this person in the call or they going to leave you out hanging. Some of y'all could have definitely cut off any type of like financial dealings with another person. Could have cut back financially, especially if you're dealing with an uh, Leo or air sign, earth sign, Capricorn, Toys, Virgo. Someone's going to get a reality check. Hear a reality check. I feel that someone could have been omitting some such Omitting. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini. Scorpionic energy as well. But someone could have been omitting the truth. Someone could have also been using some type of spell work to keep things illusioned. But there's getting ready to be a tall moment. It's divinely guided. That's going to move you toward your new moon. Okay? For some of you all, the tall moment is regarding some type of third third party situation with ties to a family dynamic. Okay? Or regarding someone not being fulfilled, someone moving away. I definitely feel like someone's gonna take a coward. Someone's gonna try to take a cow, make a cowardly move, but it's going to bless you in the long run because it's going to move you toward what it is that you've been actually trying to manifest. This situation and these ties to a karmic person, circumstance, people, family has been the blockage to your ten of pentacles, to your abundance. Some of y'all, this power, mo this power moment. Some of y'all, this power moment is literal. Somebody being left the fuck out. Somebody is leaving, okay? You're getting left. I definitely feel like there has been many synchronicities around. Your dream space has been showing you different things around either your blessing or this damn tower moment. But for some of you all, um, maybe you thought that you could control it or try and turn things around, but you can't change what's divinely got it. I mean, you can. You can try. You try and go to war with the divine. They, you going to get tired for they get tired, okay? Well, for some of y'all, this is an understanding, a, per, uh, a different perception 
um, clarity that's coming, especially with the tower here with the moon. This could also be involving the Scorpio, y'all. But definitely with the tower with the moon, for some of y'all, it's Pisces. Cancer. But someone is getting ready to experience a tower moment, and this could have to do with finances. This could have to do with family. This could also have to do with something that someone has been holding to their damn self for a long time. Very burdensome. Because they had a fear of being left out, left alone, or looked at and judged where they had to go in the space of solitude. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Virgo. But I definitely feel there's a lot of wisdom coming to a situation. And it's going to be a lot of peace, transformation, abundance, prosperity following right in afterwards. You just got to throw it in your toxic place. Throw it in the garbage. Throw it in the trash. Throw it in the trash. Don't worry. Throw it in the garbage. All right. So this is what I have for you guys in love. I know y'all heard my timer go off, but I, the spirit was like, no, you have to express it. You know, I got I have to go into detail. Some of y'all are getting ready to, um, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Aries. I feel like you're not expressing or some of y'all could be dealing with Gemini as well. Some of y'all could be dealing with Cancer. A little bit of everybody here. Sagittarius. Leo. Somebody is getting ready to be made aware of where the other person's, not only his space has been, but where their emotions have been. Somebody tried to go out and manifest something else just to find out they had fake-ass grass over there, so now they want to come in and, you know, turn some shit around. And Capricorn, like, motherfucker, did you not know that I knew what you was doing, motherfucker? Did you not know that Saturn is my friend? We're friends. <laughs> you know, with the Stevie J face, some of y'all can rub y'all hands. Oh, really? <laughs> you, <laughs> you ain't know I was coming? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Were well, you trying to come back over here? Hmm. Okay. You come back over here with that no communication, third party ass, indecisive ass, <laughs> user codependent, all that shit. You come back over here with that? Hmm. I beg to differ. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all let me know if this resonates because this here was the tea, honey. Open up for them blessings and throw that other shit in the garbage, y'all. Many, many, many blessings to you. Much love, much light. Ashe. Namaste. Bye, babies.